Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So I have 20 minutes before I am starting a meeting on my laptop. So I thought in those 20 minutes I would film a life update video. I haven't sat down and chatted for forever. So I've got a few things to update you guys on. I did ask on my Instagram story a couple of topics you wanted me to cover and there were a few recurring themes so I would definitely touch base with all of those. I touch on this briefly at the end of the video but I wanted to put it here because it's cool. Cool, is it? I sound like a really mum of four then when I said cool. Yeah, very cool like guys. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> we are starting our own family YouTube channel. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So Head luckily for you guys, you'll be seeing more of me. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky for you guys. So head over and subscribe. I'm going to leave the link in the description box and I'll touch on it later on the Get video. Get subscribing because I reckon they're going to be uh, good videos. You reckon? Oh Jordan's yeah. going to be... I'm in them. I'm going to be in them as much as Jordan, but he's then going to do the whole editing process. I'll be so taking over. Obviously checked by me. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> My wife will have to check them, obviously. Obviously. But um, yeah, we're excited. So if we start off with the fact that I am now 30. So I had my birthday over the weekend and someone asked me how I feel about turning 30. I feel completely fine. And I'm excited for my 30s. As I said on Instagram, if you follow me on there, that my 20s were about having my children so I had Jensen when I was 23 then I've just carried on having children up until the age of 29 and now I'm 30 and I have a few solid plans that I want to set into motion and I will touch on that a little bit later on in the video but that is what I want my 30s to be about obviously raising my children but I also want to bring a couple of other things to life and that is where a lot of my focus is going to be, as well as obviously carrying on with my YouTube channel and things like that. So as well as me turning 30, the girls have also turned six months. And what happens when your baby turns six months? You start to wean. Now, how has my weaning journey gone? I've had so many questions on it. And it's really nice that you guys are interested. So how has my weaning journey gone? How's the girl's weaning journey gone rather than mine? I, I want to say it's going okay. I don't want to rave about it and say that it's going amazing. They are, I don't want to say fussy because they're not fussy yet. They are just not the most, what's the word? They, they like to spit food out rather than keep it in, which is completely normal. I remember Jesse was exactly the same. Jensen was brilliant he just ate anything that I gave him Jesse used to spit most of it out so we're just kind of going through the motions of that and just trying to teach them to keep the food in their mouth I'm exploring a bit of baby led weaning which is actually working a little bit better than the purees which actually surprised me because I thought the purees would just be so much easier but the baby led method is actually working a little bit better for the girls so I'm going to explore that a little bit more and I need to think of a couple more suitable foods for them that we can use baby led so if anyone can suggest any for a six month old baby then do leave a comment and let me know because I'm looking for some more foods for them to try but yeah so we're just kind of going okay on that it's a work in progress we will totally get there in the end it's just going to be a journey and it's also a journey of them getting used to food and and kind of growing up with the food and of course food is fun for the first year so we're just going to go with that I feel like my camera is slightly wonky let me just kind of move it a bit is that better is that more straight sorry it was wonky i've got a new tripod and um it's kind of hard to get it straight but we, we got it so our travel plans if it is safe to travel we have booked we previously booked back in january to go to my dad's place in France. Now we're not actually staying with him, we're staying somewhere else, but near him. So it's all booked, booked our flights, and if it's safe to go ahead, we're gonna still go. We're gonna play it by ear. But not only that, I didn't realize that you couldn't do fast track passports at the moment. 
So there was me thinking, oh, it's okay, I'll just book online and we'll go and get the girls' passports. That's what we've previously done for all of the children in the family. But you can't do that at the moment. They are not letting you do fast track service. So you have to do it the normal way. So I'm actually now kind of worried that the girls' passports won't turn up in time. So it's all a bit up in the air. Whether Jordan would go on his own with the boys and take them out. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna wait and see and play it by ear. I also have really bad hay fever, so um, I may be uh, sneezing on and off during the video having red eyes because I've always had such bad hay fever. Jordan hardly has it, so I'm really hoping the children don't take after me. At the moment, none of them seem to have hay fever, so I'm hoping they take after their father, but who knows. So moving on to our house plans. So as you guys know, last year we planned to do a loft conversion. We got everything in place. I got everything approved by our local authority and paid for plans to be drawn up, paid for the application process and all that kind of stuff. And it was due to start around March time. So then we had the girls and I don't know, I kind of got second thoughts about it. And my second thoughts kind of led from the fact that I don't know if we're going to stay in this house that we are in now forever. And I'm not saying we're not going to because I don't know. And that's where the kind of uncertainty comes from. So before I spend a lot of money on a loft conversion, I want to be sure that I'm going to stay here for a long time because looking into it we wouldn't actually make any profit at all on doing the loft conversion which i wouldn't mind if we weren't planning on moving but as i don't know if we're going to move if we're not going to move i am just holding out at the moment and seeing what happens and not making any quick decisions so that is where we are with the loft conversion the good thing is we had the plans and we have it all approved if and when we do want to go ahead but as i said I'm not sure at the moment, I just want to see what happens and when we make a decision we will go from there. I am going to do a completely separate home update video because we are just redecorating a little bit. As you can see we've got new chest of drawers so we used to have the small mirrored ones there but now we've got these from Ikea and I love them so much, I'm going to change the handles, but I love them so much. There's so much storage. We are also going to do Ikea Pax wardrobes in the spare room and we're gonna give that room a little bit of a refresh because it's kind of a dumping ground at the moment so currently the boys share a bedroom they have bunk beds they love sharing a bedroom and it works for them at the moment they're both very happy in the long term i think they would both benefit from having their own bedrooms so that is something i'm definitely gonna consider obviously and then the girls currently share as well well obviously at the moment they're still in with us so they don't sh but but they will share a bedroom eventually so they have their two cots in there and they will be in their cots up until around the age of two i guess maybe a little bit over a little bit under so we have plenty of time to make a decision on what we're going to do I and i'm in no rush we're very happy with where we live so the decision is kind of based on very different factors such as we would kind of like a slightly bigger downstairs in an ideal world, but again, we are very happy here. So we're just gonna wait and see and play it by ear, really. I also had a few questions on Jordan's job. So when I met Jordan, he worked in a quarry and he has worked there literally ever since he left school. So he is now 33. I was gonna say 32 then, but he's now 33. And he'd worked there ever since he was 17. So as well as being able to drive all the machines, he can drive a lorry, he's got his transport manager license and a few other things like that. But it wasn't where his passion lied and it wasn't where his heart lied. So he's decided to take the leap and train as a personal trainer, which is amazing. And that is where his love is and that is where his passion is. If you follow him on Instagram or if you see him on the vlogs, he doesn't actually talk much about it on the vlogs, but mostly on Instagram, that is where his passion is. He loves fitness and he's always wanted to become a personal trainer. 
and now he has the opportunity to so that is what he's doing at the moment I think it's a bit of a shock for him to go back to learning because he hasn't done anything like that in so long obviously he can't complete his course until the gyms reopen but that is definitely where his future lies and we're also launching our own business which we are hoping to launch around September time so keep your eyes open for any news on that it's something we are both really excited about and as I was saying at the beginning of the video I really want to focus now on bringing some things to life that I believe in and that can be a really long-term focus for us as well as the business we're launching in September I'm also thinking ahead on another idea I really want to bring to life and that is hopefully going to be around April to May time next year so I'm also thinking about that and getting the wheels in motion as well as those things we're also starting our new family YouTube channel now you guys have been asking for so long are you going to start a family channel when are you going to start a family channel can you start a family channel so we have decided we're going to take the plunge and we are going to start a family YouTube channel now obviously I'm going to keep this channel this is going to be my main channel where all of my fashion beauty lifestyle all that kind of stuff is going to live on this channel I'm also going to still do my vlogs on here still do my routines on here so this channel really isn't going to change that much at all the only thing I won't be doing is the weekend vlogs that I used to do because they are now going to live on our family channel so I'm going to leave a link in the description box please head over and subscribe to our new family channel we're really excited we're hoping it's going to start in a few weeks time when we're hoping things start to get a little bit more back to normal so make sure you head over there and subscribe and I will obviously keep you updated on when we're starting but it's something we're really excited about we're planning on doing one family video a week over there so watch this space we have quite a few exciting things happening over here at Team Carter but thank you so much for watching and thank you for always supporting me and supporting my channel it honestly means the world to me I've got to go for my virtual meeting now but I'll see you guys soon